Like people are so arrogant, right? You meet people like they just think they entitled to something. You know what I'm saying? Like they think they entitled to something for some strange reason. Like people are arrogant, like act like you meet cats, you're like, man, that cat's so arrogant, right? You meet a cat, they got a little success. You're like, man, my man, arrogant. Meet somebody got more degrees than a thermometer, arrogant, right? Not realizing that, like we do work at the homeless shelters. Right? We do work at three homeless shelters we've adopted. Right? And, and when I sit down at the table and I look in the eyes of a mother and her daughter, and me and my wife sit across the table and we feed them, right? I'm not looking at them and saying, oh, irresponsible. I'm getting up from the table, I'm taking their traits of the trash, and I'm like, bro, you one incident away. Like, one thing has to happen. You meet a father in there, you're like, man, what you doing here? Man, house fire, lost my whole family. I'm in here, I got a job, I'm transitioning out. You meet a mother, what you doing in here? I'm running from domestic violence. It's the only place I can go where he can't track me. They can't post no pictures on Facebook. And so I gotta be in here. And so you start to look at life with a different perspective. But if you're in a bubble and all you do is who, all you do is go to a certain office, corporate office, you have your success, you sell what you sell, you do what you do, you make a little money. You walk around and you think like, I can't get touched. You think, can't nothing happen to me. I'm Superman. Man, life touch everybody. Everybody. Like when the thing happened in Houston, the, the, the crazy thing about it, I hate pain. I hate seeing people go through struggle. I hate seeing people cry, get hurt. I don't like it at all. And I'm watching it, and people lost $5 million homes. People lost $50,000 homes. People lost a million dollar homes. People lost $100,000 homes. But the thing that I love, when Cat showed up, ain't nobody say, um, hey man, what's your political background? Ain't nobody show up and say, hey, what, you stayed in that gated neighborhood? Hey, what type of shoes you got? How much money you got? The foolishness no longer matter. A cat showed up and say, hey, you got a boat? Yeah, I got a boat. Cool, let's go get this old lady out of this house. Hey, you got a truck? Yeah, I got a truck. Let's put some water on this truck. Let's go help some people, right? Like the things that really matter and the focus about what was really important is the only thing they cared about.